Hello everybody, my name is Yuda and this is the Omnibus FO and now I'm going to explain to you everything about this uh, spectacular board it's very good I use it in iNav, in Mission Planner and also in Betaflight uh, you can install on it everything you want very easy, very simple and okay let's go and i'll explain to you everything about this boat enjoy okay we back okay this board is very good and i use it in inav and mission planner and also in beta flight but first we're gonna explain to you everything everything about this board so you have to know how to plug everything in normally this board this aligned you see here the arrow is pointing this way so this board gonna be that, that way okay and this is the USB right here from this this USB you can uh, download and connect to into the mission planner or INAV and everything it's a mini USB it's very nice very easy same like your phone and you have a, a lot of a uh, Holes here. I explain now what they doing. Normally, we start with the with the button how to install the program, the software. So, what you have to do if you want to install the software, you have to push this button. You see over here, this this button here. You push it all the time. Don't let it go, and then you plug the. USB connector into here and when you do that this makes the board into DFU mode that you can uh, install and it makes bootloader bootloader it's gonna make the board into a DFU mode and it's gonna be in bootloader mode so you can install everything in what you want I use an INAV and I installed from INAV in Mission Planner on this board. I like Mission Planner. It's very simple, very easy. And I will show you how to make it. But first on the board we're talking. So let's see. After you install what application that you want to run on this board, you have to do some things to connect the power. So the power on this board is over here. This one, it's the lead one, it's the positive. It's called the bat uh, power. It's gonna be the red one. And the black one, the ground, is gonna be upside down. It's gonna be this one. Okay, you see? This one is the ground. So, you especially you put this, the positive, and here is the negative. That can take about 2S to 4S to 6S. No problem. And now about this connection, how, how we use it. So we have the, the RC controller. We need to choose the if you want to use the uh, PPM. It's over here. You see the three button here. So it's gonna be if you want to use PPM. What you have to do, you just solder the main the and the upper one so you solder together you do bridge and then you get ppm if you want to use s bus so you solder the middle one and the down this is what you have to do before you have any solder on this board it's very important because after that you it's very hard to get in this point okay after we choose this we have to know which one is which? So the first line here, this one, these three nuts, is gonna be your ground. All this line is gonna be ground. On this line is gonna be five volt pin. So it's convert to the remote control, the receiver. So you can plug it here, and this is, this is the signal. Okay, this one is the signal. So the first row is gonna be the signal for the RC receiver and gonna be the positive and negative okay 
the other ones here all this one it's the motor so it's going to be ground and also here you have motor this motor one two three four five six you can plug six motors so we are going to use only four because we have a quadcopter so this is the one and here's the signal one and this one one two three four five six okay this one is the signal one you can plug it you cannot use the five volt normally because i not use it only the signal and the black one into the esc okay now what do you have to do here it's the osd this board you got you have everything on it you have osd inside so you can use it the mission planner i have or better flight no matter so this one is going to be the camera camera in okay the camera is going to go with this signal and this is signal out vtx out so here is the positive the battery voltage i not use it because i use separate i use the this one i take the way for the vtx the 4s i take from this part and the 5 volt i also put regular there and that i use for the battery 5 volt so i not use this one so the black one is the ground here is the ground for the vtx and for the camera okay very easy okay now if you want to use it uh, the gps or something i put a picture so i only always use this port about the, the gps for connect the gps this one you have gps and compass together you can plug you can buy the gps separately and put it here and then you have it okay very easy i put the photo now then you see the picture Okay, in this photo you see these connections, SDA, ground, TX, RX, VCC, and CLA for compass. Very easy. And that's it, folks. This is very, very easy to, to make. And here you have also the black box. You can put the SD card, 2 gig, 2 gig. So you can uh, download if you have any problem or any crash so you can also check in the computer it's very easy i put the link in the description if you want to buy this uh, flight controller it's very good and very easy to install the program on it and very useful i make my drone very very nice i build one from this and i can teach you everything how to make it it's very easy and I hope you understand this this part if I not tell you this part of the board is in for a silver uh, that uh, it's take 3.3 volt and it's spectrum or something else I not use it so I use the sky droid uh, t10 and t12 so normally I only use the PPM or SBAS. I love the PPM sometimes to use it. More easy for me, but you can choose. Very easy. And this is it. This is the board. It's very light. And if you're looking for to build something fast and you, you can small and save some money, this board is for you. It's around the $21, $20. Very, very cheap and very light and i like it i have like five or six so i put the link in the description and if you are like me you like it this video put like we also we love to help each other i make a lot of problem before i uh, make my own drone so i help to another people like they help me here in the youtube channels and we also everybody help to everybody so it's very easy i'm going to show i'm going to show you how to put in the few mode 
and then you can see how to install the, and flash the pogrom into you. So, if you like this video, please subscribe and you can buy this board with my affiliate link or you can do your, if you want you can buy it by yourself, but this one is very good, the seller is not uh, disappoint me and it's very very cheap and very fast, it's coming to you in, the, in order very very fast. And one thing to mention, this board also have a barometer on it, so it's very very good. And this you have always this, so it saves you a lot of money. Not like the other one, the APM and everything. This one is come with barometer and the OSD system and F4 board. It's very fast, and you, know, you have everything. This board just have everything. I like it. I so much like it. It's very easy and very light. It saved me a lot of time and battery and very easy to program it. I like it. So see you in the next video. And I'm gonna teach you how to solder everything and show you how to build the drone from this one.